Welcome to our Tips for Engagement learning session for parents and learning guardians. This session will cover tips for engagement, what is productive struggle, embracing productive struggle, and supporting perseverance. First, we are going to explore tips for student engagement. It is important to encourage and engage our children as they interact with Dreambox. Tips for engagement include following lesson completion goals. Dreambox recommends that students complete five or more lessons per week. Providing prompts such as, have you finished your lessons today? Or what did you learn in Dreambox today? Are great ways to remind students of their lesson completion goal. You can also celebrate your child's successful lesson completion by having a fun Friday or a motivational Monday. Be sure to also provide student choices. An example of student choice would be offering something like, you can do the activity now before breakfast, or you can do it after lunch. Another example of student choice is playing in Dreambox or journaling about Dreambox. Let your child express their emotions and learnings through writing or drawing. We also want to appreciate positive thinking and responses even when mistakes are made. An example of something you could say is, good try, let's try again. We want to make sure that we're praising the action, not just the child. This will help your child to develop grit. That's having passion, courage, and perseverance. And last, we want to make sure that we celebrate success. When a student understands a concept after multiple attempts, celebrate. Celebration can just be simple words of praise, like you persevered and solved the problem all by yourself. Great work. Next, let's explore productive struggle. Productive struggle is the right spot for learning. It's the in-between of understanding and needing support. Rather than just helping students when they mention that they're having trouble, we'd like to encourage them to work through the challenges. As Joe Buller says, mistakes are what create brain sparks. For example, imagine your child is learning how to ride a bike. You can get on a bike and show them how to ride that bike, but that doesn't mean that they will be able to get right on the bike and ride it. They have to get on the bike and learn from their own adventure and from their mistakes. They need to experience and embrace the learning opportunities themselves, kind of like taking off the training wheels. We also want to be sure to inspire independence by doing things like negotiating compromises, identifying opportunities that they can do independently, like Dreambox. Please remember, it is okay to struggle and feel challenged because that means we are learning. Dreambox's adaptive engine is there to provide the just-in-time support rather than the just-in-case support. So you don't have to worry. Just encourage and embrace your student engaging in Dreambox. We also need to help our learners embrace productive struggle. A few things that you can do to welcome productive struggle while your child works in Dreambox are to ask the learner some questions, like, what are the directions asking you to do? You can also rephrase the direction, such as, what move do you think you should make here? Another question would be, what does the help or hint button say? Reassure with your child that they can use the assets built into the program for support. Say things like, let's try that and see what Stella tells us. Also, ask your student, what do you see in the lesson? Have you done something like this in class? Help the student build upon earlier learning to continue to deepen their understanding on new or more challenging topics. Additional resources to embrace productive struggle can be found on the downloadable Dreambox at Home learning document on the Learning Guardian portion of the Dreambox website. Last, it's important that our children learn how to persevere and problem solve. A few activities that you can do to support your le learner in Dreambox are to encourage your child to listen to the feedback from the program and then try again. As mentioned previously, if the student needs additional help, use the help and hint button that the program has. The 
help button is the question mark that can be found in the upper right hand corner of the student lesson. And the hint button is the light bulb that can be found in some of our lessons. Last, give your best guess. Ask questions like, what do you already know? What do you think you should do next? What happens when you try that? You can also use your family dashboard to support you while embracing productive struggle and persistence. To learn more about the family dashboard, please watch the monitoring student productivity training video. Thank you for attending our session. Please visit our support site at dreambox.com for additional information.